this, when it comes to cleanup crew, also remember about fish, because fish play an important part of the cleanup crew too. And with fish, you want to cover three rolls. So sand sifting gobies, just to keep that sand clean. And for that, we re recommend chalk gobies, Valencia NSX Catata. A lot of other sand sifting gobies either make a lot of mess, or they're very prone to jumping out, or they're very difficult to feed. By far the best one. You want one about every 200 litres or so to clean the sand. You can keep them in a big group as long as you put them all in at the same time. Then you want to look at grazing pressure. Now in tanks for 500 litres plus, you have a wide range of tanks to do that job for you. In 200 to 500 litre tanks, you're really looking at the smaller bristle tooth tanks, like the blue eye bristle tooth and the Tamini tank, which is very popular in the store. And they're fine in tanks of 200 litres or more. For smaller tanks in the 100 to 200 litre range, have a look at Starry Blennies because they make excellent uh, grazers, but unlike the more commonly seen algae blennies, they're much easier to feed, and also Starry Blennies can be kept in groups, even within the big ones or small ones mixed together, as long as they all go in at the same time. In tanks under 50 litres or under 100 litres, when you're getting very small, you're probably better off just relying on inverts. Another job that's well worth being done by the fish would be uh, for pest control. So any of the Halicorus wrasses, we mainly favour the smaller ones like Melanaris wrasse, Halicorus melanaris, and red line wrasse, Halicorus parcellatus, and they will eat flatworms, nudie branches, bristle worms, loads of pests which can affect corals and cause a lot of trouble. Also make sure you check out our other video on cleanup crew of what inverts you should have in a reef aquarium too.